Hello everybody. Today we shall learn the lesson The Sermon at Banaras. This lesson tells us about the life of Gautam Buddha and about Kissa Gautami, a lady who moved around from one place to another to make and to bring back her dead son. The Sarvan at Banaras throws light upon the early life of Gautam Buddha, who was originally known as Siddhartha. Here we see the journey of Gautam Buddha from princehood to his saintly life. He left the palace at the age of 25 after seeing the suffering of the world to seek enlightenment. He wandered for seven years and here and there and then finally went and sat under a people tree. In his pursuit, he wanted to find out the true meaning of life. He wanted to know why people have to suffer, why there is sorrow, why people grow old and why we are pained by illness. He was not able to understand why and what is the cause of death. And in his pursuit to know all these things, he went and sat under a people tree at Bodh Gaya. And finally, he got enlightened. His first sermon was delivered as Banaras, as it was considered to be the holiest place because of River Ganga. Gautam Buddha went in search of enlightenment. When he was in this palace, he never understood the meaning of sorrow. He had been shielded from suffering of the world. When he was 25, he saw a sick man. Then he saw an aged man and then a funeral procession. And finally, he saw a monk begging for alms. These made him so sad that he himself became a beggar. And they went out to seek spiritual knowledge. Gautam Buddha wandered for several years. In fact, he wandered for seven years. And finally, he sat down to get enlightened. Buddha preached around. And He met Kissa Gautami in one of those incidents. Kissa had an only son and he died which brought a lot of sorrow to Kissa. She, she took the dead child to her neighbors to make him alive. He asked for medicines. The people called her mad. At last a man met her and told her that he he had no medicines, but he knew a physician who could give medicines for the sick. Kissa asked him to tell the name of that man and he told her to go to Shakriya Muni, the Buddha. Kissa told Buddha to give medicines to cure.
the child. Buddha told her to bring him a handful of mustard seeds. It must be from a house where no one had died. Kisa agreed because she was desperately in search of bringing back in any way her child back to life. Kisa went from house to house. People gave her mustards. She asked if no one died in the house. They told her not to remind them of the deepest grief. She understood that in every house there was one death which brought a lot of sorrow and pain. Kisa Gautmi could not get the seed from such a house. At last, she sat tired and hopeless at the wayside. Darkness soon fell. She saw the lights of the city soon. The darkness also fell upon her. She considered the fate of man. She thought that she was really sad. in her grief. Death was common to all, yet there lay a path that led man to immortality if he suffered all the selfishness. Buddha told her that human life was brief and painful. No one could avoid dying. All those who were born were to die one day. Young and adult all have to die like the vessels of a potter. They break after being made. All depart from life. A father cannot save his son. Or relatives lament deeply when death is taken like an ox for slaughter. So, the world is full of suffering due to death and decay. The wise do not grieve as they know the truth.
No one will get peace of mind from weeping or with grieving. On the contrary, his pain will be greater. His body will suffer. The death are not saved by expressing sorrow. He who is of the lamentation and grief shall have peace of mind. One who has overcome sorrow will be free from sorrow and will be blessed. Kisa Gautami considered the fate of men and realized that she was selfish in grief. Surrendering all selfishness leads to immortality. All earthen pots end in being broken. The world is afflicted with death and decay. He who has overcome all sorrows will become blessed and enlightened. And finally she realized and she understood the truth that death cannot be avoided. It has to come when it has to come. So, waiting for it, lamenting on it and creating sorrow for yourself and for others is the non-solution. We have to face life as it comes to it.